This is the Seaflow low profile bilge pump. It's the 14A model, which is water sensing automatic. It has three independent sections that all rotate. So you can rotate the discharge any angle you like. And you can even rotate the mounting section any angle you like. So you could side mount it on a bulkhead, mount it to the bottom of the boat. And it has a removable motor. And this motor can be installed in increments of 90 degrees. And that's going to be important when we talk about the water sensors on the pump. The automatic bilge pump works by these two water sensors right here. When both of them are, are submerged in water, the pump will turn on after a slight delay, and then it will run until it can't feel any more water. The delay, the purpose of the delay is so that just splashing it doesn't turn it on. The outlet has these little holes that allow air to escape and prevent air locking the pump. The pump comes with several different outlet sizes so you can match it to the codes that you currently have. It has a check valve. And it has this quick connect feature so that once your hose is clamped to your outlet, you can put the pump together or take it apart anytime you want without removing that hose clamp. The pump has a low profile so that you can get to the very bottom of the bilge. And as I previously mentioned, the water, the pump is re has a removable motor. So if there ever was a problem or there was some debris inside, you could easily clean out the impeller. Removable strainer. Now the water sensors are located right here. Normally I like the pump to be in this orientation, but if you wanted to have the pump wait a little bit until it turned on, until the water got a little bit higher, you could do this. Now it's going to wait till it gets to the top sensor, and then it will turn on, and again it will pump until all the water is gone. Even when it reaches the lower sensor and it both sensors come out of the water, it will keep pumping until the motor can't feel any more water. To test the 14A, we simply touch these two activation buttons with wet fingers. After a short delay, the pump will come on. And then off. Showing the 14A in operation, we merely need to just submerge those two activation buttons that we tested just a second ago. As we lower the pump into the water, The activation buttons are submerged, and now the pump is running. And now to demonstrate the pump running. Slowly pushing it underwater as if the water were rising. The two buttons are now in the water, and the pump comes on. Now the pump's going to keep running until there's no more water that it can pump, even if the activation buttons are out of the water. As soon as the pump feels no more water, it will stop. Activating it again. deactivating.